She's the volunteer at the soup kitchen in Montezuma, but her work doesn't stop there. She's also a nurse practitioner who has committed herself to giving free medical care to those who need it most. 41 NBC's Kaya Warnke explains how Karen Hatton is making Middle Georgia great, beginning in her own neighborhood. Step through the doors of the Bread of Life soup kitchen on a Thursday night, and the room is always filled with people. We do first come, first serve, and I mean, people start lining up at like 5 o'clock and 5.15 just because the need is so great. But these folks aren't here because they need food from the kitchen. Karen Hatton and her staff are giving them free medical help. At first we started with just acute care, you know, sore throats, things like that, but the real need was people with chronic problems like, you know, high blood pressure, you know, diabetes, things that if untreated could, you know, trigger heart attacks, strokes. A few years ago, Karen noticed people coming to see their doctors less and less. Not because they didn't want to, but because they couldn't afford it. The more you do, the more you see a need in the community. And our, our community is, you know, one of the poorest in the state. So Karen made a change. So we prayed about it. She sees at least 20 patients every Thursday and gives them whatever help they need. So we see a little bit of everything. Um, we see, you know, pediatric patients right on through to the geriatric patients and do the best we can. Charlene Hansen says she isn't at all surprised by Karen's generosity. She's one of the most Christian people I know, and she has people very close to her heart, and she doesn't like to see people suffer or hurt. The good Lord. You know, he, he is the one who moves this ministry. He's the one that puts the love in our heart for each one of our patients because we do love them. In Montezuma, Kyle Warnke, 41, NBC News. If you're interested in volunteering with Karen, just go to the soup kitchen in downtown Montezuma on Thursday nights at 6.